Stepanovich. My lab studies the function of macrophages in the gastrointestinal tract. My colleagues and I are going to share with you our recent discovery that describes symbiotic relationship between a subset of intestinal macrophages and enteric neurons. We will tell you how two seemingly unrelated cell types coordinate their efforts to regulate intestinal physiology. Intestinal surface represents the largest surface of the body exposed to the outer environment. Intestine is inhabited by 100 trillion of commensal bacteria and is an entry site for harmful microbes and parasites. As a result, intestinal immune system accounts for the highest number of immune cells in the body. Normal intestinal motility is required for efficient food digestion and nutrient absorption. Intestinal contractions can be regulated by the enteric nervous system independently of the signals coming from the brain. Enteric nervous system is often called a second brain as it comprises as many neurons as the spinal cord. Despite its seeming simplicity, intestine is an anatomically complex organ that is built out of few layers. Mucosa that faces the inner space lumen, submucosa and muscularis externa comprised of two layers of smooth muscles. Intestinal peristaltic activity is generated by coordinated contractions and relaxations of smooth muscles that form the muscularis externa. Within the muscle, its neurons are grouped together in a myenteric plexus between circular and longitudinal muscle layers, whereas axons create local and distant intercellular connections, often reaching the mucosa. Intestinal nervous system closely regulates smooth muscle contraction. Mucosal macrophages protect intestinal surface from the microbes that try to breach the barrier and are in constant motion sampling the environment. So my laboratory studies the regulation uh, of the development and function of tissue dendritic cells and macrophages. And Milena Bognovich and I have been uh, studying for many years uh, those, uh, the, the regulation of dendritic cells and macrophages that populate different layers of the gut. And we've been particularly intrigued by a population of macrophages that are present in the muscularis layer of the gut. And we developed many means to probe their right. function in vivo. In contrast to mucosal macrophages, muscularis macrophages show very little movement. Similar to neurons, they mostly accumulate between two muscle layers at the level of myenteric plexus. A panoramic view of the myenteric plexus revealed that muscularis macrophages are always positioned along nerve fibers or next to neurons, forming close interactions. It turned out that anatomical interactions between two cell types are supported by their functional communication. We found that muscularis macrophages secrete a cytokine, BMP2, which activates BMP receptor expressed by enteric neurons. Enteric neurons, in turn, secrete CSF1, a growth factor required for macrophage development. Our data suggest that muscularis macrophages modulate peristaltic contractions of the intestine through changing activity of enteric neurons. Um, so when we were initially looking at how do uh, muscularis macrophages actually um, control intestinal peristalsis, um, our preliminary hypothesis was that they somehow had an effect on uh, the smooth muscle itself. Uh, but as time went on, things started to point more and more towards a completely different cell population that was affected. And it was actually only until we saw um, an actual picture of macrophages within the muscularis uh, co-stained with enteric neurons wow. that we started to move towards the idea that um, these macrophages could actually control enteric neuronal firing. Intestinal motility is a dynamic process that is influenced by dietary and microbial changes in the intestinal lumen. We showed that by giving mice antibiotics to kill of the bacteria, the communication between macrophages and neurons was interrupted, resulting in decreased BMP2 secretion by macrophages and reduced production of CSF1 by neurons that disrupted intestinal contractions. By restoring commensal bacteria, the miscommunication between macrophages and neurons was reversed. 
showing that the dialogue between the macrophages and the enteric nervous system is plastic and adaptable to the changes in the intestinal lumen. So these results, together with a recent data on the role of microglia in, uh, in brain neuronal function, uh, I think emphasize a very important new role for macrophage in the control of neuronal regulation. Speaking of the microbiome, one comes to the potential clinical significance of this work. Pediatric dysmotilities are very common. The etiology of these disorders are unknown. It seems very likely that the rapidly changing microbiota in a developing pediatric gut vary and intermittently abnormally interact with muscularis macrophages. These abnormal interactions could also be induced by antibiotic exposure, gastrointestinal illnesses, or a number of other conditions that alter the microbiota. This work ultimately lead the way to the development of new treatment regimens for these patients. This research qualifies as a quote-unquote who'd have thunk type of study. The basic observation that muscularis macrophages and enteric neurons interact was not previously considered by any of the aficionados of the field. Motility was thought to be the province of nerve cells, while phagocytosis and immunity were thought to be the province of macrophages. Cooperation of neurons and macrophages to regulate motility is thus a new, different, and revolutionary concept. Once found, however, it seems like we all should have said, of course, quote unquote. BMP2 is well known to affect neurons. Neurons express BMP2 receptors. Neurons secrete kit ligand, or stem cell factor for interstitial cells of Cajal. Why then not also CSF for muscularis macrophages? Interstitial cells and neurons interact to regulate motility. So why not also muscularis macrophages and neurons do the same? Just another actor joining the play. We also know that microbiota affect motility and the ENS. This study thus provides a great link between enteric neurons and the enteric microbiome. The link may be through the regulation of BMP2. This is thus the best kind of revolution, one we expect in retrospect and thus is more like evolution than revolution.